Hello, Apple Valley, this is Mr. Mons. We're excited to have you back in school. Last year, you heard words like unique, unprecedented, uncertain. Heard them over and over again. So many other words that adults tried to use to help get our heads around this thing that was taking place in the spring. One of the things that you're gonna keep hearing from us here this year is that we're counting on you in order to make this whole school thing work. People have been working their tails off since graduation in June, and they started planning and preparing for the possibility to have students and staff back together in the building. We spent a ton of time walking through the building, planning, creating schedules, tossing the schedules out the window, recreating new plans, and then just to keep everybody safe and to do this thing right. We received guidance from the governor, from the Minnesota Department of Education, the CDC, the Minnesota Department of Health, Dakota County, and certainly from our District 196 office. In fact, on my desk, I've got a 19-page document that's not just a list of suggestions, but these are things that we have to do. So it's a really big deal for us here this year. We've got to take this thing seriously. We need you. Your help, your patience, your guidance, and understanding of just how we make this whole thing work, it's key. Because if people want this thing that we call in-person schooling, uh, we need to make sure we're working together, that that's an option here for us at AVHS, as well as for any other school in the district or the state. So first up are masks. Whether it makes sense to you, you believe in them or not, wearing a mask is something that everyone has to do here at school. Some of these changes around here, they're not gonna seem that big of a deal to us. Other things are gonna look really different for some of our students who have been here for a few years. So, Mr. Blatzheim and I, we're going to walk you through some of the things that you need to know so we can make this whole thing work. Ready? Here we go. Our commitment to keeping each other safe begins each day when you wake up and evaluate how you feel. The Minnesota Department of Health has broken the symptoms of COVID-19 into two categories, more common symptoms and less common symptoms. Students and staff are asked to follow the following guidelines when determining whether or not they should come to school. People with one more common symptom are asked to stay home. More common symptoms include a fever greater than or equal to 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, a new onset and or worsening cough, difficulty breathing, and a new loss of taste or smell. Additionally, if students or staff are exhibiting two or more of the less common symptoms, they are also asked to stay home. Less common symptoms include sore throat, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, chills, muscle pain, excessive fatigue, new onset of severe headache, new onset of nasal congestion or runny nose. Help us do our part to keep each other safe by staying home if you're not feeling well. More guidance can be found at the State Department of Health's website at health.state.mn.us. You may get to school by walking, riding in a car, or riding a bus. No matter how you come to school, please note that the school building does not open until 7.30 a.m. If you ride on the bus, please note that you'll be asked to wear a face covering and maintain proper distancing on the bus. When you arrive at Apple Valley High School, you'll go in one of two directions. This person is going through door 31. All students who wish to get breakfast will go through door 31 and into the cafeteria. They will go get breakfast using their meal cards. If you are not getting breakfast, you will go where this person is going into door one and you will proceed directly to your first hour class. Teachers at Apple Valley High School have been working hard to set up their classrooms to maintain distancing and keep everybody safe. Please follow the instructions of your teacher in each room for where to sit. When classes end, you will hear the bell ring. Note how these people are getting up from their chairs and moving efficiently out of the room, taking care to maintain proper distancing. You'll then move into the hallways to move to your next class. You'll note throughout the school that stickers have been placed on the floor to help create two-way traffic patterns. Please follow these stickers as you move through the hallways. Please note that specifically in front of our learning stairs, some stairways have been designated as one-way staircases. The staircase on the right is for going up, the staircase on the left is for going down. The learning stairs are two-way traffic, as are the staircases in the corner of the building. Note how all of these people are maintaining proper physical distancing as they move through the halls. If you do need to leave the classroom to go to the bathroom or the nurse, it is very important that you get a pass from your teacher and go where you're going as quickly as possible. Things are going to look a little bit differently in the lunchroom this year. You'll note the same stickers to create distancing in the lunch line. 
These people are in two different lines to go into the cafeteria for hot lunch. Note how they are taking turns to enter the cafeteria to maintain proper physical distancing. Around the corner on the other side of the cafeteria, you will find the line for cold lunch and a la carte items. Note similar spacing and taking care to maintain distancing while in line. If you're bringing your lunch from home or once you have your lunch from the cafeteria, it will be time to sit down. We will be using seating in both the cafeteria and the commons for lunches this year. Seats in the cafeteria have green stickers on them to indicate where students should sit to maintain distancing. Note that once you sit down, it is okay to take off your mask to eat your lunch. Just like when you are dismissed from the classroom, note how these students being dismissed from lunch have put their face coverings back on and are working to maintain distancing as they exit the cafeteria in an orderly fashion. The school day ends at 1.40 p.m. We will follow a staggered dismissal from our last class of the day in order to help create an efficient exit from the building. Students participating in co-curricular athletic and other activities who are on the program's roster will be allowed to remain in the building on in-person learning days if needed between 1.40 p.m., the end of the school day, and 3.30 p.m., the start of practice. All other students must exit the school building at the end of the day and the building will close at 2 p.m. For students in our District 196 Digital Academy or for cohort A or B students who are in an at-home learning day, the building will open at 3 p.m. to arrive for co-curricular activities. If you ride the bus home at the end of the day, note that you will need to wear your face covering just like you did on the ride to school. Work again to maintain proper physical distancing as you get on the bus and have a safe ride home. Remember, we all need to do our part to keep everybody safe and healthy. We are committed to a safe and successful school year here at Apple Valley High School, and we are so excited to see you back in the building this fall.